Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Pilates. So for today's workout, you need with you a mat. If you have a small bender ball, that's great. And then light weights, two pounds, three pounds or lighter is fine. If you don't have any of the above, you don't have to use them. I just like to have toys with me sometimes, right? So this is pure mat Pilates, power Pilates. And I will say initially, if there's anything that I am doing that doesn't feel quite right for your body, take a modification. Most importantly has to do with your neck, right? So you will hear me cue a lot, chin to chest, head, neck and shoulders to roll up. If you lift your head up like this and you take your eye gaze to the sky or to your ceiling, you're gonna feel it in your neck. So make sure Pilates is a lot about rolling, right? So you wanna really focus on that and not lifting through your neck. If your neck bothers you at any time during the workout, just simply put your head down or take one hand behind the head if it's appropriate to do so. All right, otherwise, join me on the mat. We're gonna start on our backs and we're gonna tap into a little bit of breathing first. So yoga is about mind, body, and spirit. And Pilates is mind and body, right? So go ahead and lay flat on your back, please. Um, and just take a nice deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Nice deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. So as you do that, you want to think about where the breath is coming from. So inhale from below the belly button, pull the breath through the center of your abdominals towards your heart and chest. Exhaling out, letting everything out. So it's called diaphragmatic breathing or three part during a breath in yoga. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. So you focus on your breath because a lot of our movement in Pilates has to do with your breathing and matching your movement to your breath. So continue with that breathing and start to think about your body. So your midline represents the area from your chin down past your belly button between your legs. Your core or your powerhouse is the area from your hips to your shoulders, front, side, and back. So we tap into that powerhouse. We tap into that energy line in the center of our body. On your next inhale, go ahead and reach your arms all the way back behind you. Lengthen long through your fingertips and even arch your back off the mat if you like. So you're tilting your tailbone. And now I want you to exhale, pull your right knee into your chest, hands behind your thigh, relax your shoulders down, lengthen long through your left foot. So feel a nice stretch in your back for a moment. Inhale, release your arms long and away. Exhale, left knee into your chest, hands behind your thigh. Again, lengthen through your right heel. Feel a nice stretch into your back. Inhale, release, send your arms and legs long. Exhale, right knee into your chest. Now, chin to your chest and neck and shoulders lift. So it's your first opportunity to do that rolling through your neck. Settle your shoulders down away from your ears. Look at your belly button. Inhale, release, arms and legs go long. Exhale, left knee into your chest. Chin to your chest, head back and shoulders a little up. Again, look at your belly button, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, release. Exhale, right knee into your chest. Chin to your chest, head back and shoulders roll. This time, lengthen your arms long like you touch the wall in front of you and flex both your feet. Hug your right knee into your midline, come up an inch taller. Inhale, release, send your arms and legs long. Exhale, left knee into your chest. Chin to your chest, head, neck, and shoulders roll up. Arms reach forward, come up an inch taller, hug your left knee down into your midline. Inhale, release. Exhale, right knee in. Chin to your chest, head, neck, and shoulders roll. Arms reach forward. Now lift your left leg 45 degrees, point your feet, come up an inch taller with your belly button, and switch. And switch. So as your legs, Pass one another. Your pant legs should be touching because you're drawing again into your midline. The next time your right knee is in, hold it in. Release your left leg all the way down. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. 
Just place your right foot inside your left thigh on the floor. Let your right knee open up. This is just a nice hip stretch. Take your arms back behind you, interlace your finger, point your fingers to the floorboard. Just flex your left foot and let your right knee drop down. This is called supine tree pose in yoga. So you're inhaling and exhaling out. Now on your next breath, take your right ankle on your left thigh. Let the knee drop out a little bit further. Feel a good stretch into your hip. Using your abdominals. So kind of tuck your tailbone under, press your back into the floor and lift your left leg all the way to the sky. Head, neck and shoulders lift. Reach your hands for your left calf. If you can't reach your calf, thread your hands through to your left thigh. Flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle. Reverse the circle. And then go ahead and release your right leg all the way out. Pull your left knee in. Head, neck and shoulders are still lifted. Release your arms out and switch your legs. Inhale, so you're right back to where we were before. Pull your left knee in, hold it in. Come up an inch taller. Release your right leg. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders down. Left foot is now flat on the floor inside your right thigh. Let the left knee fall out. Reach your arms back again. Interlace them the opposite way from before for a non-threatening body change. Inhale. And exhale out. Taking your left ankle on your right thigh again. Just let the knee fall out or the hip fall out a little bit more. Again, tuck your tailbone under, so press your back into the floor, engage your stomach. Lifting your right leg, using your stomach to get the leg up. Head, neck, and shoulders lift again. Reach for your right calf if you can. Flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle. Reverse the circle. Good. And then go ahead and bend your right knee and bring both knees into your chest. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders, and rock yourself gently from side to side. And then quiet that movement. All right, if you have a ball, go ahead and take it between your ankles. Again, no big deal if you don't. We're going into our 100. Arms by your side, knees to tabletop, chin to chest and neck and shoulders. Lift, reach your arms long and away from your body. Start actively pumping your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. So you're looking between your inner thighs. If you want more from this, send your legs out to 45 degrees. Come up an inch taller. Inhale. And exhale out. Strong pumping of your arms. Remember the pumping of your arms originates really from your triceps and lats. You're not just flapping your arms, right? From your wrists. Inhale. And exhale out. You've got three more. Inhale. And exhale out. Good. Here's two more. One more time. Again, if your neck's bugging, you put your head down. Stop the pumping. Come up an inch taller. Bend your knees and rock yourself to seated. How'd you do? That's like the worst part of this whole workout, right? 100. Nobody likes 100s. All right, so go ahead and grab your weights. All right. If you want, you can place the ball between your knees for right now. Arms reach forward. Tuck your tailbone under, scoop your belly in, and roll back until your hands are just past your knees. Inhale, you come up. All 10 toes touching the floor. Shoulders stack over your shoulder, uh, your hips. Tuck your tailbone under, slowly roll back. This is your half roll up. We're gonna do about five of these. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up if you want. Exhale, tuck and roll, scoop your belly in. Try and go back a little further. Good, inhale, we come up, reach a little higher. Exhale, tuck and roll, scoop the belly in. If you've got the ball between your knees, it's just a light squeeze in the ball. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, tuck and roll. Good, one more time. Inhale. And exhale out, tuck and roll. Now, you can either stay with this move or go into a full roll up. If you're going to a full roll up, feet are together. You've got the ball there, you're pressing into the ball. And slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Arms go back to 45 degrees. Press into the ball or press all your energy out your feet. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, roll up. Reach up and over for your toes, creating a C curve in your spine, and then slowly roll back down again, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, peeling yourself off the mat, reaching up and over for your toes. Get some light, nice stretch in there through your hamstrings, right? As well, and lower back down. Inhale prepares you, 
Exhale, you execute through the movement. And slowly back down. Lower back, middle back, upper back, meeting the floor sequentially. Inhale, to chest. Exhale, roll up and over. And lower back down. Good. We've got about four more to go right here, everybody. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Good. Three more. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Remember what helps you is getting the energy out of your feet. So flex your feet. Inhale, exhale, all the energy out. Reach up and over. My back down. And let's just do this one more time. But this time we're going to stay at the top. Sitting up nice and tall, fingertips behind you, elbows wide. Rotate to your right. Don't let your left leg go ahead of the right, right? So no shifting of the hips. Come back center. Squeeze into the ball or push the energy out of your heels. Rotate to your left. Come back center. Sit up taller. Rotate right. Good. Back center. Rotate left. Let's do this two more times to either side. Rotate to the right. Come back center. Rotate to your left. Back center one more time. Back center and to your left. Very good. So I want, if you have the ball, take your right ankle on the ball. If you don't have the ball, legs are together. Slowly roll down one vertebra at a time for your leg circles. Now, arms are by your side, or if you want more stability, your arms can be out wide to a T. Flex your right foot, take your left leg all the way up to the sky and point your foot. So length and long, right foot flexed, left foot pointed. Left leg crosses your midline, circle around to the left, pull in and up and stop at the top. Cross down around, in and up. So I'm getting a foot cramp, so my foot's not pointed. Cross around, in and up. But I want you to point your left foot. Cross, circle out and around, pull in and up. Stabilize through the hips, right? All right, stop the movement. Take your leg left, circle it across your midline, pull in and up and stop. Take it left, down around, in and up and stop. Good, a couple more. Last two. Last one. Excellent. Bend your knee, place your foot down. I want you to take your arms out to the side. <clears throat> You're going to push through your left foot and lift your hips up. You good? Now you're going to bend your right knee to tabletop. Drive through your left leg or left foot for hip drops. Ten of them. Nine. Good. Big push. Eight. Seven. Left glute engaged. Six. Good. Here's four. Three. Two. One more time. Slowly lower down. Very nice. All right. Send your right leg out. Left leg, left ankle on the ball. My ball ran away. No big deal. Right leg all the way up. Point your toe. Right leg now crosses your midline out to the right. Pull it in up. If you are your arms back by your side, go ahead and put them there. Down around, right? So. Try not to move through the hips. Good, one more time. Let's reverse that movement. Take it right, cross around, pull in and up and stop. Take it right, cross around, in and up. Good, two more. One more time. Hold it at the top, bend your right knee, place your right foot down. Arms open wide, drive through the right foot, lift your hips up, bend your left knee to the tabletop. 10 times down and up, drive through that left foot. One more time. Slowly lower down. Pull both knees into your chest, hands on your shins, and rock yourself to seated. We're going into rolling like a ball. Now, again, if you have the ball, you're going to place the ball behind your legs. Feet are off the floor. If you don't have the ball, you're just holding onto your shins like that, right? So you want to keep your heels close to your ball. Find your balance, one hand on each shin. Chin to your chest. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, come up. 
Good. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, come up. Easy rock, right? You're only rocking to the tips of your shoulder blades, right about where your bra strap would be. All right, four more. Nice control movement. Nice, easy massage on your back. Excellent. One more time. Pull it at the top. Go ahead and take both hands on your right shin. Send your left leg away. Pull the right knee in. Chin to your chest. Rock back until the tips of your shoulder blades meet the floor. Going right into our single leg series. Pull the left knee in. Pump it twice. And then the right. We inhale. Then exhale out. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Where are you looking? Between your inner thighs, right? You've got four. Here's three. Here's two. And one. Both knees in. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders down. All right, double leg. You're going to be on the ball. Place the ball between your ankles. Pull your knees into your chest. Chin to your chest, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Tuck it in nice and tight. Inhale, arms and legs 45 degrees. As your arms go back, it's as if you're taking a top hat off your head. Sweep your arms around. Exhale, pull your knees in. This is specifically a breathing exercise. Inhale, we extend. Sweep your arms. Exhale, pull it in. Good. Inhale, sweep, exhale out. You have five more. Here we go. Inhale, sweep, exhale out. Here's four. Good. Here's three. Two. One more time. Pull it in. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders down. Good work. All right. Send your right leg to the sky. Hands behind your right calf. Left leg 45 degrees. Chin to your chest, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Pump your right leg twice and switch. Pump, 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 pump. Breathe through it. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. One more time. Are you ready? Go to singles, arms by your side for eight, seven, six, four, three. Two and one, bend your knees, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Very nice. Once again, grab hold of your waist. Arms open wide to a T, knees to tabletop. Keeping both shoulders on the ground, go ahead and let your knees roll to the right slowly. Four counts. Keep your gaze neutral to the sky, and then four counts to come back. Good. Four counts to your left. Keep your head neutral. Use the waist to return your legs. Now, that's option one. If you want more, simply take your legs to the sky and make it a full pendulum either way. Always remembering that when your limbs are distal, farther away from your body, versus proximal, the movements get harder. So don't overdo on this rotation. Whatever your body is comfortable doing is good for me. Slowly going to the left, four counts, and slowly going to the right. So I have a weight they just ground me, right? One more time to the right. Slow return. Good, and one more time to your left. And slow return. Very good. All right, hands behind your thighs. Flex your feet. Chin to chest, head, neck, and shoulders. Lift. Look between your inner thighs. And then just take your hands, slip them behind your head. Elbows wide. Lower your legs. Three. Reach for the other end of the room. Two. One point and pull on four. Flex and lower. Three. Two. One point and pull. Flex and lower. Point and pull. One more time to this tempo. Hold it at the top. Reverse tempo. Flex your feet. Lower one. Pull back. Three, two, one. Lower one. Pull back. 
Slow and controlled, two more times. One more time. Hold it at the top, bend your knees, rock yourself to seated. How are you doing? Good, thumbs up. All right, grab hold of your weights for your forward spine stretch. So take your legs about hip distance apart, flex your feet. Sitting up nice and tall, arms reach forward. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reach up and over through your toes. Crown your head towards the floor, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, go up and over. And then sit up tall. Again, deep breath in. Exhale, up and over. Let's do two more like this. Good. One more time. Very good. All right, open leg rocker. So similar to rolling like a ball, but your legs are wider. So option one, take your legs wide and just hold behind your thighs. You go chin to chest, you rock back, you come back up. But this time, at the top, lift your heart, look ahead. If you can, take your hands to your shins or to your ankles, chin to your chest, inhale, rock back. Exhale, come up. Again, find your balance at the top. Sit up nice and proud. Chin to your chest. Inhale, rock back. Exhale, come up. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Give me three more. One more time. Hold it at the top. Bring your legs together. Arms reach forward, you're in a boat pose. Sit up tall, pump your legs up. 10, 9, 8, 7, good. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Feet down, inhale, lift up. And exhale, slowly lower down to the floor. All right, we're going into our corkscrew. So bend your knees in your chest. Take your legs up to the sky. Option one. Now you can take your arms out wider to round you more. Your legs circle to the right, all the way around to the left. Pull them in and up and stop at the top. Then they go left, all the way around to the right. Pull in and up and stop. All right, that is option one. If you want a little bit more of a height, you bring them up and around, circle them around. If you want more, watch me one time. You're actually doing a plow. As you come down, you're rotating around, all the way around, up and stop, okay? If you've never done the plow before, stick with the first option, all right? I can't see you, so I need you to make sure that you are doing it safely and what's best for your body. So let's all start with option one. Legs straight up, circle them to the right, all the way around to the left, pull in and up and stop. Take them left, circle them around to the right, and stop. So keep going with this four more times. If you're comfortable in that plow, then go ahead and do the plow. As you come down, you're circling slowly. I'm using my arms to support me, right? You go inhale, exhale, up and over, circle left, come around and down, yes? Give me two more, wherever you are is fine with me. One more time. Excellent. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest and rock yourself to a seated position. Very good. All right. So now we're going into saw. So go ahead and grab your weights again. This time sitting up tall, your legs are about as wide as your mat is wide. Take your arms out wide. Remember the weights are an option, right? So if you don't like them in your hands, you don't need them. Rotate to your right. Reach your left hand up and over for your right pinky toe. Right arm pulls back in opposition. Inhale, come up. Exhale, rotate left. Up and over. Keep your right sit bone down and come back center. Rotate left. Reach up and over. Inhale, left. Exhale, rotate. Good, come back center. Rotate and reach. Good. Well, let's do one more to each side. Good. 
and back center. Very good. All right. Going into our rollovers now. You've got the ball. It can go between your ankles. And I want you to lower down, though, one vertebra at a time. So we always transition with work, right? We don't just kind of plop down. All right, legs go all the way up. If you've got weights in your hands, use them. Now on this movement, again, kind of like I said before, if you're doing it with corkscrew, make sure that you're not putting pressure on your cervical spine. The weight of your body is in your shoulder blades, okay? If you're nervous at all about it, just do a little bit of a crunch and not going all the way over. We're only doing five of them. So preparation. Legs are straight up, arms press into the mat. You're using your triceps to do this. Lower your legs to 45 degrees. Inhale to the sky, exhale up and over. Drop your thighs to the floor, flex your feet. I meant your thighs to your chest. And slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. The legs reach all the way to the opposite side of the room. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale up and over. Flex your feet, drop your thighs, and slowly lower down. How are you doing, all right? Three to go, Diane. Inhale up, exhale up and over. Drop your thighs, flex your feet. Use your arms, press into the floor. Yes, Taryn, two more. Up and over. Good, one more time. Bend your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. How do you do? You good? Awesome. Rock yourself on up and meet me on your stomachs in swan. So, swan pose, one hand over the top of the other and your forehead is on your hands. Your feet are going to stay in touch with the floor, okay? So don't pick them up. Keep them together and in touch. Forehead on your hands. As you inhale, lift up. Chest off the mat, hands and forehead stay sticking together and lower back down. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So now we're working on your back stabilizing muscle. Give me two more. One more time, hold it up. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, be in a high plank. Crown your head forward, shoulders over your wrists. And then lower your knees to the floor directly underneath your hips. Go ahead and grab one weight in your right hand. Send your left leg back, flex your foot to stand on the back wall. Bring your right hand to your right hip and give me eight tries of extensions. Two, good, three. Hold it back, turn your right palm to the sky. Tap your left toes and right knuckles to the floor, lift and extend. One, two, Up and hold, pulse, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold. Bring your right hand into your right shoulder, extend it out and hold. Diagonally reach to the right with your arm, left with your leg, and come back. Good, do that again. Good, three more times. One more time. Release your right hand, release your left knee. So find that alignment, knees under your hips, right wrist under your right shoulder, send your right leg back, flex your foot. Left hand by your left hip, push away from the earth, right? Engage the whole time. Try some extension, eight of them. Back and hold, palm to the sky, left knuckle, right toes, tap the earth, and lift, eight. Seven. Hold it. Bring your left arm all the way forward. Diagonally reach left with the arm, right with 
the right leg and come back four more times. Good, one more time. Release the weight, release the knee. Take your knees as wide as the mat. Sit your tailbone back, reach your arms forward for your child's pose. All right, now we're going into what we call dolphin pose. Watch me do this first before you try. Elbows are underneath your shoulders, palms are grounded. I'm going to tap my toes under and tighten my hips. Walking my feet towards my elbows with my crown of my head between my arms. Your right leg will come up, you'll point your foot. You'll pulse three, two, one, and tap. Pulse three, two, one, and tap. What is most important about this position, you make sure that your shoulders are over your elbows. Your legs stay straight the whole time, all right? So, forearms down, elbows under the shoulders, palms grounded. Tuck your toes under, pike your hips. Walk your feet in, crown your head to the floor. Right leg up, point your toes. Pulse three, two, one, and tap. Pulse three, two, and tap. You're only doing five of them on this leg. Just two to go. Here we go, Alyssa. Pulse three, two, one, one more time. Right foot down, left leg up, point your toes. Pulse three, two, one, and tap. Pulse three, Woo! three more. Who's sweating? I am. Two more. One more. Left foot down, bend your knees, sit back to child. All right, we're going into our side lying pose. Got to get my runaway ball, and you'll meet me on the floor on your left side. How are you feeling? Good? Is the body wakening up? All right, so go ahead. If you have the ball, take it to the bottom corner of your mat, front corner. So if you're on your left side, it's your left leg is on the ball. Your back is lined up to the back of the mat. Your legs are at a slight angle forward. If you want, you can prop yourself with your right fingertips on the mat to secure your balance, right? With the ball, the biggest difference with the ball is providing the instability, right? So we just talked about that in the water class. You need to push down through your left leg into that ball, flex your feet, okay? Bring your right leg up and bring it forward. So it comes pretty much directly in front of your hip. Kick twice. Point and drag back. Here we go. Kick, kick forward, point and drag back. Kick, kick forward, point and drag. Good. Kick, kick, point and drag. Keep pressure on your left leg. Even if you don't have a ball on your ankle, keep pressure down. Good. Two more times. Kick, kick, point and drag. Your right leg should feel like it's dragging through something thick. One more time. Good. Bring your right heel to join your left. Right knee and toes to the sky. Go up slowly. Three, two, one point and pull on four. Flex and lift. Three, two, one point and pull. Flex and lift. Point and pull. One more time. Flex and lift. Point and drag. Let's reverse that. Point up one. Flex and drag down three. Good. Point up one. Flex and drag three. Point up. Flex and drag. Good. One more time. Just hold your right leg above the left and give me little circles, like little size of a, I don't know, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe season. Excellent. And reverse that movement. And then stop that movement. Pull your knee into your chest and bicycle your leg through. Try not to roll too much through the hips. Excellent. And reverse it. Last one, good. Pull your right knee in, place your right foot flat on the floor. Flex your left foot. Lift and lower your left leg for eight, seven. Remember the movement is up, six, five, four, three, 
Up and hold, pulse eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one, relax your leg down. Send your right leg back out, flex your feet, line up your legs with your body. Pick up your right leg about hip height. Left leg off the floor a few inches. Now left leg up and back down. Now remember, you're lifting up. Try not to do something funky with your foot to reach. Let the waist do the work. Legs are nice and quiet for four, three. Up and hold, scissor kick, eight, seven, six, four, three. Hold it, feet together, lift up, eight, seven, six, give me four, three, two, hold it up and pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax down, really nice work. All right, come up onto your left forearm, elbow, shoulder underneath, go ahead and bring your right foot forward, lift your hips up. You're in a modified side plank. Take your right hand behind your head, right elbow to left wrist, eight times. Keep pushing away from the earth with the left side. Create a nice arc in your body. You've got four more. Here's four. Here's three. Two. One more time. Excellent. Relax it back down. Now I want you to come onto your knees, please. Grab hold of your waist. Knees are directly underneath your hips. Arms reach forward. You can tuck your toes under if you want or keep them relaxed, either way. Hinge back with a straight back. So if you're used to doing camel and yoga, this is not camel, and then come forward. So as you come forward, it's like a magnet is pulling you right there through your abdominals. You got a nice quad stretch right there, and then pull forward. Good, you've got four more. Four, excellent. Here's three. One more time. Very good. All right. Continuing on with your right side, you've got the weight in your left hand. I want you to come up onto that left knee, right leg out, weight in your right hand. I might have said it wrong before. And then just drop down, create a square with your left side. Lift up your right leg. Flex your right foot. You're gonna rotate your right arm underneath your left, lift and lengthen eight times. Really try to tap the mat behind you, right? Reach, reach, reach. Get that rotation there. Try not to move your right leg at all. You have two more. Good, one more time. Excellent work. Take your weight out of your hands, come around onto your knees. Forearms on the floor, tuck your toes under, and just meet me in a forearm plank for a few breaths. Remember, if you're pushing away from the earth, crowning your head forward, push back through your heels, quads engaged. So a lot happens in plank, right? We work on our shoulder strength, our core strength, our back, everything. Woo! And then slowly lower down. Lift your heart in sphinx pose. Just feels good in this stretch. All right, we're going into swim stroke. Today we're doing breast stroke. If you want, grab your weights. Hands are by your shoulders. And you're going to lift your upper body up. If it's comfortable lifting your lower body as well, go ahead and do so. And give me eight rest strokes. Eight, good. Seven, six, one more, and relax. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, push the high plank. And then relax your knees down and come onto your right side. How are you all feeling good? Yes, I heard a resounding yes. That is what I want to hear. All right, come onto your right side, please. All right, well, lift your legs up, bring them to diagonal front corner, drop your legs. If you've got the ball, take it underneath your right ankle. 
Lift your left leg up, flex your foot. Again, you can use your right hand, I'm sorry, your left hand to balance you. Kick, kick forward, point and drag back. Kick, kick, point and drag. One more time. Very good. Bring your left heel to join your right, left knee and toes to the sky. Slowly lengthen up. Three, two, one point and drag. Flex and lift. Point and drag. Good. Flex and lift. Point and drag. One more time. Flex and lift. Point and drag. Let's reverse this. Point up one. Flex and drag down three. Good. Point up one. Flex and drag. You're contracting that left leg. It's working as if it's dragging, really pushing through. Let's hold it above the right leg and you know it circles. Again, cantaloupe size. And reverse that movement. Stop the movement, pull your knee into your chest and bicycle through for four. And let's reverse that movement. Very good. Pull your right knee in, your left knee in. I'm sorry, place your foot flat, flex your right foot, lift and lower your right leg. Up and hold, pulse. And relax your leg down. Nice work. Send both legs out, line them up with your body, flex your feet, lift your left leg up, hip height, lengthen long out of your left side. Lift your right leg just off the mat. Now lift and lower for eight. Up and hold, scissor kick, eight. Stop the movement, feet together, lift eight. Up and hold, pulse eight. And relax down, nice work. All right, go ahead and come up onto your right forearm again, elbow, shoulder in alignment, very important. Left leg in front, push away from the earth. Left hand behind your head, now create that arc right here, right? And then left elbow to right wrist, eight times. One more time. Nice work. Relax down. Come back onto your knees. Grab your weights. Knees under your hips again. Arms reach forward. Hinge back. And pull forward. Just do five of them. Hinge back. Oh, pull forward. There you go. Three more. You have one to go and come back center. All right, keeping the weight in your left hand, send your left leg out, find that alignment. Remember, you just drop, create a square with your right side, left arm up. Now pick up your left leg, flex your foot, go and rotate underneath your right arm, reach, 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 and come up. So remember, you really want to try to create that rotation, not just reaching your arm, right? Very good. You have two to go. One more time. Very good. Release it down, release your weights. Come to your forearms and give me that nice plank for a few breaths. Again, pushing away from the earth, breathing through it. And then release your knees down and sit back to child's pose. All right, good work. Meet me seated, please. Legs extended forward. For neck pull. So your legs are about hip distance apart, hands behind your head. If you want to have weights with you to do it, you can. Makes it a little bit 
harder. Fingertips to touch, send your elbows wide. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. As you exhale, dive your head between your knees. Inhale, you come up. You go back, straight back, straight back, straight back as far as you can. And then exhale, tuck and roll. So once again, this is very much a movement breath match. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, you come up. Oops. Tie your head between your knees. Inhale, go back. Straight back, straight back. Look at the horizon. Exhale, tuck and lower. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, come up. Dive your head between your knees. Inhale, go back, straight back, straight back as far as you can. Exhale, tuck and roll at the end. You have two more like this. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go back. Exhale, tuck and roll. Good. One more time. And then at the end, on your back, bring your knees into your chest. Good work. All right. Arms by your side, feet to the floor. Feet are directly below your knees. I want you to activate your glutes to squeeze in your butt. And now slowly roll into your bridge pose. Weight your bodies between your feet and your shoulder blades. Take your right leg straight to the sky, point your foot. Pulse your right leg three, two, one. Flex and lower to just above the earth. Point and flex, I mean point and pulse. Flex and lower, good, point and pulse. Flex and lower, one more time. Bend your right knee, place your right foot flat on the floor, lift your hips if they drop a little bit, squeeze your glutes. Good, left leg up, point your toes. Pulse your left leg, three, two, one, flex and lower. Point and pulse, flex and lower. One more time. Bend your left knee, place your left foot, and slowly lower your hips to the floor. Grab hold of your weights for your teaser. So bring your knees and ankles together. Send your right leg out to 45 degrees. Option one, arms are up. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, teaser up, just reach for your knee. Just come up this high and lower back down. Your second option is a full teaser, right? Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, you come up, reach for your toe. You wanna to try and keep your knees together the whole time and then slowly lower back down. Pressing your left foot firmly into the floor. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, teaser up, and slowly lower back down. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, up, and lower back down. Good, one more time. If you're all the way up, hold it up, switch your legs. Left leg extends, right foot down, and slowly lower down. Knees are glued together. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, teaser up, and lower back down. Good, one more time. Exhale, teaser up. Again, doing a half teaser if you need to. And you've got one more. Teaser up and stay up at the top and relax. Good work. All right, can can. Option one, hands behind you, fingertips face forward. Elbows are soft. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Your knees will go right, left, right, and extend to the right. Goes three, two, one, and extend. If you don't like being on your hands, come onto your forearms, but make sure you stay lifted. So I'm gonna stay on my forearms. Knees right, knees left, knees right, extend right. Tuck them back in. Go left, go right, go left, extend left, yes. Go right, left, point your toes, extend right knee, go in and roll left. Right, left, and extend. You've got one more on each side. Very good. Bend your knees and push yourself on up. Let's come around again into table pose. Hands underneath your shoulders. Round through your back into our cat pose and arch into your calf. Good, round in your back, and arch. Very nice, send your legs back, tuck your 
toes under, you're in a high plank. Walk your hands to your feet, four steps to get there. Bend your knees, two options, roll up or hands on your thighs, flat back and lift. So when we roll up, we put a little more um, exertion into our lower back. So sometimes coming up flat back is kinder on your lower back. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, go up and over like you're going over a beach ball. Walk your hands out. It should only take you four steps to get out into a full plank. Roll to your right side, reach your left arm up, side plank. You're only here for a few breaths. Come back down, roll to your left, arm to my back. You're in a full plank. Come back to your full plank. Walk your hands back to your feet, four steps to get there. Bend your knees, either roll up or come back up, flat back. One more time, inhale, come up. Exhale, go up and over, walk your hands out to your plank. And we're going into serratus push-ups. Now, lower your knees for a moment. Serratus push-up is a tricep push-up, right? So some of us can go down in the serratus push-up here, but we struggle getting up. So drop your knees and push yourself up, all right? Just three of them, three serratus push-ups, go ahead and do them. I'm not doing them because of a wrist issue. So go ahead and give me two more. Good, one more time. And then walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees, and bring yourself to standing. Good work. All right, go ahead and grab your weights. We've arrived at standing, that's the good news, right? All right, feet are together right now. Go ahead and take all of your energy onto your right side and lift your left knee up, pointing to your left foot. Soften your right knee so you're grounded on the right side. Because guess what? No class is balanced. No class is good without balance and planks, right? Send your left leg back, hinge at the waist, bring your arms forward. So you're just standing in balance. I want you to bend your right knee and then straighten it. Bend it and straighten just three more times. Bend and straighten, good. Here's two, one more time. Straighten it out, pull your left knee through, bring your arms up to the sky. Send your left leg out to the left and your right arm out. This is called star pose. Go ahead and just pulse your left leg up for eight, seven. Yeah, you're getting a little more waist work. You love it, don't you? Four, three, Two, one, both arms up, both feet together. Arms come back down by your side. Nicely done. All right, take your weight and energy to your left side. Bring your right knee up, point your toes. Soften your left leg again. Hinge at the waist. Send your right leg back. Remember, it's on purpose. Arms just hang in front. Bend your left knee and straighten it five times. Two, so we're loading into that left glute a little bit. Three, four, and five, straighten it out, pull your right knee up, arms go up, right leg out, left arm out. Point your right toes, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, so good, four, three, two, one, arms up, legs together. Bend your knees, hinge at the waist, let the weights go. Inhale, reach all the way up, hold on to your right wrist, side bend to your left, Send your right hip away. Inhale, lift. Grab your left wrist, side bend to your right. Come back center, release your arms down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take your left ankle on your right thigh. Have a seat. Inhale, rise up. And then right ankle on your left. Have a seat. Inhale up, exhale, let your arms go, let your shoulders roll back, oh. shake it out, great work everybody, thank you so much for being with me this morning, I'll see you again next week as well, have a great rest of your day and weekend, thanks for joining me. Great class, thank you. Thank you. See you thank Monday. you.
Thank you, Thank you Ainsley. Thank you. Well done. That was thank really you. Fun.